It may be hard to believe, but today would have been former mayor Harold Washington's 100th birthday. From boxing and running track at DuSable High School to making history at City Hall, Harold Washington was larger than life. He was ambitious, determined, and he loved people. CBS 2's Jim Williams takes a look at where Chicago's first black mayor took us with some of the people who knew him best. It's Chicago, Chicago, my hometown. In so many ways, Chicago still is Harold Washington's town. There are tributes to him across the city, the stunning Central Library, and a city college downtown, an elementary school on the far south side, and parks to the north and south. There's a cultural center named for him in Bronzeville, where he grew up, and affordable housing in Rogers Park. He might as well call Chicago the Harold Washington City. Brian Boyer served as Mayor Washington's speechwriter. For me and for a lot of people, you know, Harold still lives in our memories and in our lives. I, Harold Washington, do solemnly swear that I... With that oath in 1983, United Harold Washington changed Chicago forever. Longtime friend and top aide Jackie Grimshaw says he pioneered inclusion. Not just women, but also people of color, you know, also, you know, gay and lesbian and uh, folks with disability. I want to reach out my hand in friendship and fellowship to every living soul in this city. He stood for love of the city. I think he stood for love of people. And I think he stood for everybody having a fair shake. Our expectation uh, of black leaders uh, was set by his standard. This is the story of my time as a public servant. The Washington legacy lives on in this interactive exhibit at Chicago's DuSable Museum of African American History. It teaches one of his most important lessons. We must represent all people coming together. It was an ideal that Harold believed in, uh, and I think it is an ideal that we can achieve eventually in this nation. I want to read for you a little story about it. While he had a soft, playful side, Harold Washington could be tough. I cannot watch the city of Chicago destroyed by petty politics. And while he knew how to have fun, <laughs> another quality shines through. Harold Washington was uh, brilliant. He was smarter as a tack. Think of a polished intellect, right? Something shining and uh, radiant that affects everybody who sees it or who experiences it. That was Harold Washington. His energy, that smile, his love of life. As we mark his 100th birthday, we wonder, what would he say? He'd probably be saying, I'm 100. Maybe I look like I'm 80, but I feel like 60. You know? Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. In the 1980s, a young man working in New York City was so inspired by Harold Washington that he moved to Chicago to become a community organizer. And you know the rest of Barack Obama's history.